Huh, what's that? Oh, oh, it's a, oh, it's a test panel. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Oh, well, totally unprepped. It's kind of a, it's kind of a neat. I wonder why we have a test. Oh, why do we have all this stuff out? That's a big mess. So much really clean that up. <sighs> that's an int. That's that's paint. That's that's paint. It's all painted. What? That's amazing. Yep. See me here first, folks. The bottom, the belly. It's all done. Avalanche gray. And we have an avalanche gray engine bay. Isn't that nice? So, um, yeah, that's that. No more multicolor calico, disgusting, uh, really bad black paint job that cr sort of crept into the engine bay. No more of that nonsense. And you guys get to see this beautiful avalanche gray that the rest of the car is going to be someday, Lord willing. Um, yeah, so this is my first uh, attempt at painting something that, it, that will uh, see the light of day um, more than the engine bay. So uh, two coats of sealer to, um, all right, let me walk it back. Um, the engine bay, I originally primed some stuff just to kind of work in all of those panels. I think I've made a video about that, so all that stuff. I uh, primed those, blocked all that stuff in, just to get it pretty close. This isn't a show car. I'm not trying to get the best, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really trying to make, uh, you know, a, con a, what do you call it, concourse? Yeah, concourse. This isn't a concourse restoration. This is a get the engine bay good, better than factory, hopefully, so that we can pop a motor in it. Um, and we're there, we're there. Um, I goofed up on this part. I forgot, totally forgot about this. Cause you have to remember this entire engine bay was like, it was like 14 different colors between the uh, exposed metal, the Bondo, the black paint, the white paint, the primer. So uh, I went over it with a fine tooth comb. I spent about 12 hours working on this thing over the weekend. And uh, unfortunately, totally forgot about the thing right here in front. So I'll, uh, I just gotta, f I'll fix that and just tape off everything and do this get all this stuff I just man kick myself in the butt um, but that's the only thing and I don't need to uh, have the motor out of the car to fix this so not really a big deal I'm a glass half full kind of guy can you tell so uh, the reason why I'm not super fo hyper focused on making this engine bay perfect doing those cool Scott rod panels everybody does is because uh, the engine is massive. If you know anything about the 32 valve uh, Ford V8s, they're huge, it's gonna take up this whole space. You're not gonna be able to really see anything. So, except for like right there, and like right around here, you know, top of the towers, and really I have a strut brace there, so. Uh, what I did was probably overkill. Um, mainly rust prevention, so. Uh, Two coats of sealer, epoxy, primer, sealer, and a couple coats of avalanche gray. It's a PPG, single stage. That's why it's looking all slick. Uh, did the bottom, where the K member was, there was like some rust. There's rust inside these frame rails. I still need to put some like anti-rust treatment in there and whatnot. Um, this used to be uh, used to be two pieces. So this part turned out really good. Totally forgot about this part. You see this garbage right there. Um, not really the end of the world. So uh, yeah, for my first outing, 
or for my first attempt at a real paint job. I'd say it turned out quite well. There's some stuff I'm gonna put some uh, seam sealer on, like this weld here, um, this weld here, just to kind of uh, fill in any nooks and crannies to keep rust from, to keep water from sitting and rust from uh, creating, hopefully. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. That's the engine bay, guys. So, the point we're at right now is we get to start working on this thing. We're going to start putting that motor back together. And it's going to be awesome. <laughs>